midnight. Maggie is in the lead with 3,700 points. <laughs> Thanks to Vinny, who generously gifted some of his points yeah. and immediately regretted it. <laughs> that was a beautiful moment. <laughs> Wealth, fame, pills. You might think these things will make you happy, and they will. But the real fourth thing that makes you truly happy is gratitude. <laughs> yeah. And someone who knows all about that is TikTok user Today I Am Grateful. Today I'm grateful for salt. I really enjoy salt in my food. It brings out the flavor, adds flavor to foods that are a little bit lacking in flavor. And besides that, it can be used to melt ice on the roads. <laughs> that was so nice. Does anyone else just feel like a monster after watching that? That's like... I do, we all like salt, yeah. right? Yeah. Every day, this guy gets on TikTok and posts about something he's grateful for, no matter how innocuous. Today I'm grateful for jogging. Today I'm grateful for shower curtains. Today I'm grateful for palm trees. Today I'm grateful for microwaves. Today I'm grateful for mountains and hills. Today I'm grateful for flat land. <laughs> okay, he, he lost me at jogging, but... Uh, also, make up your mind, mountains or flat land? There's an election coming up, pick a side. <laughs> but we do love a grateful dad. So for our elimination game, we're playing Gratitude. <laughs> Panelists, we're going to spread some positivity. I'm going to put 60 seconds on the clock and for 500 points each, buzz in with things you're grateful for. Whoever has the lowest score at the end of the round will be eliminated and deemed an ungrateful little twerp. Uh... I know. Your time begins now. Vinny. The Rufus Hummingbird, which is just beginning its migration across Southern California. <laughs> Maggie. The man in New Orleans who told me I have huge hands. <laughs> Vinny. Another beautiful day, Taylor. Can I get an amen? <laughs> <laughs> Maggie. Taylor Tomlinson. Jack. Blood. Uh, <laughs> Vinny. Uh, the alligator lizard. <laughs> okay. Maggie. My dad for watching the show live. Oh, nice. Vinny. Uh, the milk of the walrus, which is thick enough to feed a good, strong calf. <laughs> Jack. Accepting that death can come for us at any moment. Oh, yeah. The mice in Vinny's freezer. <laughs> People Jack. think the Big Bang Theory is funny. We need them. <laughs> Jack again. Oh that no one on this panel has smelled me today. Don't smell me. <laughs> Maggie. The Indiana Jones ride for making a new home for my phone. <laughs> oh, time is up. That was humble. I'm feeling so oh, grateful God. and prepared for the next part of our show, which is elimination. Oh. Maggie is in the lead with 6,700 oh. points. Oh. Vinny is in second with 6,500. Oh. And Jack is in third with 5,300. That means Jack is eliminated. I'm so sorry, Jack. But before you go for your goodbye, you must perform a monologue from Shakespeare's Hamlet. And you know, if you don't know Hamlet, just kind of make it up as you go along. Um, this should help. I have a little prop for you. Here we go. This is what I wanted to. Yeah, you're welcome. Good luck. <laughs> to be or not to be. I'm always asking that. <laughs> so true. And it's yeah, like, yeah. stop it. <laughs> and it's like, what is, what is being? Well. Is it chill? <laughs> but sometimes it's uh, not at all. <laughs> like sometimes you're holding a skull, which is scary. <laughs> and I think uh, I could die <laughs> eventually. Don't awe at that. <laughs> That was part of the monologue. <laughs> uh, to be or not to be? I'm asking again. <laughs> because I still don't know the answer. <laughs> and my name is William Shakespeare. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's how it ends. Oh my god, it's like... I went to Juilliard. <laughs> That's true. No, it's not. <laughs> Thank you. That was incredible. Excellent. Oh my god. Clap again. 
It's like I'm hearing it spoken by the bard himself. Thanks so much, Jack. Take well, care. You can, you, keep the the, you can keep, keep it. the skull. You can keep the skull. Yeah, I think you earned it. I think you earned that skull. We've come to the final act of our show, which means it's for the win. <laughs> Basketball is having a huge month. From the beginning of March Madness to the end of March Madness, you have to admit, it's March Madness. Yeah. Call me a romantic, but my favorite thing about sports is seeing people on the kiss cam. Because what do they do every time? That's right, they kiss. <laughs> Actually, never mind. After watching that video, I hate the kiss cam. <laughs> so for the win, I want you to replace the kiss cam with a new kind of cam to spring on unsuspecting sports fans during games. After the break, we'll hear your answers in our studio audience. We'll pick a winner. We'll be right back.